the one way that I am sharing with candidates to change uh, when they when they do interviews is to show a little thirst. So right now, companies want people that really want to be there. And that is something that in the past, it's like, do I play it cool? Do I, you know, I have so many other opportunities, you know? Huh? No, I say to candidates, if you are looking for a job right now, anyone watching, you are all in on that company. You want this job more than anything. There's nobody else. And then after you get off the call, you're the same way with the other company. <laughs> so you got to get a little, little like play a play a mentality when you're going for a job. But you got to show that you're thirsty, like, oh, this is where I want to be. I want to be at Smith Company. Uh, yeah. My whole life depends on this. I want this. So it doesn't, that goes against maybe who we really are, like Shauna being so swagalicious. But if you want a new role, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be thirsty, even that's in a candidate driven market. Even in a candidate driven market, because that's what they're wanting for their work culture. Got it. Got it. Or quotes, work culture. I'm so glad that you that you mentioned that. And it's actually funny. So I, I don't think you ever met this woman, but her name is Lisa Hyman. She's a dear friend of mine. She was on the show once. Um, and I've always gotten a lot of mentorship and guidance from her. And she was always telling me, if you go for a role, literally it's your job to get the offer. So to your point, mm. do what you in the job, you get the offer. And then you can make the decision of if you want yes. it or not. How many times do we go for a job and we're actually like talking ourselves out of it or trying to make a decision? Do you want the job or not? Before you even get the offer to your point, like go for it. If you're interviewing, make them think that you really want that role. Yes. It's great practice. It's wonderful mm -hmm. practice to go for it. And, and the main way that I recommend anyone landing their dream job is to not apply. Now, I know that sounds like super crazy and I'm a technical recruiter, but look and see who has posted the job. Oftentimes on LinkedIn specifically, it will say this job was posted by fill in the blank. Consider reaching out to them through a connection request on LinkedIn, but not just hitting that connect button, personalize invite. So you want to go click those buttons, personalize invite, and then say, Hey, Julie, I'm, I saw that you have this job. I'm really excited or I'm really looking forward to learning more. Happy to be connected here on LinkedIn, Shauna, right? They're going to accept you, but they're not going to respond to your initial message. So you're going to have to follow up and say, thank you for connecting, Julie. I would love to hop on. If you're, if you're open-minded too, I would be happy to hop on a quick video call. And then you go from there. So the, the idea of getting a new job is connect with the person rather than just cold applying. And I know you've been in partnerships. You know that that's how things work is through people. It's through mm -hmm. that's how you're going to get the next job is through a person.